Hey everybody. I saw a video this morning when Fortnite released a video on motorcycle lean. Since then, Moto Jitsu, Greg over at Moto Jitsu's released a response video. And I guess this is my response video to both of those videos. I won't try to rehash what either had to say. If you've not seen those videos, I have a link to them in the, the description. And it's well worth you going back to watch those videos. But we've been discussing them on the forums this morning. I've had some other rider coaches chime in and some other members. And I was going to write down my ideas and I thought I'd add to the public discourse and release a video on the subject instead. Basically, I agree with both of the videos for the most part for road speed turns. It's not necessary to lean into the curve or off of the bike in order to make a curve. In those situations, it's much quicker just to remain upright or fairly neutral, let the motorcycle lean underneath you. When you are at race pace though, or when that speed picks up, the technique changes. Corner speed is everything on a track and leaning off the motorcycle, the rider can keep the motorcycle a little more upright and carry more speed through the corner. I thought Greg at Moto Jitsu did a good job of explaining different tools for different jobs and slow speed cornering requires a different set of tools than race pace does for corners. But here's my problem that I think has fallen out of the discussion a little bit and I see it all the time and that's riders using race technique on the street. Now if you're riding at a pace where you need to lean off the motorcycle in order to get around the corner, you're riding too fast unless you're on the track. I don't care if everyone else around you on the mountain roads or those curvy roads up in the mountains is riding at that pace. I don't care if it's common among your riding buddies. Riding around corners on streets at speeds that require you to lean off the motorcycle in order to make the corner is irresponsible. You're not on a track. You're not on a private race course. Just do a search on YouTube and look up Yammy Noobs Crash and you'll see what can happen when you treat the street as your own private racetrack. There are thousands of other videos on YouTube of some rider crashing and sometimes dying because they see someone drag a knee in a YouTube video and they attempt to do the same thing on the street. Now my concern is not as great for the rider who's taken road corners at race pace. They're responsible for their own actions. But I have a much greater concern for the mother or father who's rounding the corner coming in the opposite direction, or your family who has to go identify your body in the morgue, or the paramedic who has to collect the body parts and load them into the back of an ambulance. I have concern for the other riders who pay a price for your thrills on the street with higher insurance costs, or the lack of concern that drivers have for riders on the street because they're tired of seeing motorcyclists ride like they own the street. I have no problem with riding aggressively on the track. I was riding in the hills in Tennessee a few years ago near the tail of the dragon. I rounded a corner and there were several police cars in an ambulance on the side of the road. Some of the police were trying to scale down the side of a steep slope in order to retrieve the body of a rider who had just died about an hour before. I pulled over and I talked to some of the people who were working the scene and I got back on the bike and I rode from there up the ways to a small woodworking shop where a guy and his wife sell their wood carvings to tourists in the area. I struck up a conversation with the owner and he was aware of the fatality of crash that had happened just a little while earlier and he proceeded to tell me that it was common around his home for motorcyclists to die. He talked about sitting in his shop working on a wood carving and he's learned from hearing the engine's approach and the sound of the engine how fast a rider was going. He also talked about the sickening sound of that motorcycle sliding off the road and the thump as the motorcycle and the rider as they hit the trees lining the side of the road. Now there's a reason why racetracks have runoff areas. There's a reason why they don't plant trees on the outside of a curve on a racetrack. If you're riding at a race pace on the street that requires you to lean off the motorcycle to make the curve, you are riding in an irresponsible manner. There's other traffic on the road. There's obstacles lining the road. There's gravel and there's spilled oil on the road. There are animals that wander out onto the road. You deal with none of that on the track, 
on the track is the place to learn to lean off the motorcycle into the curve and scrape your knee to your heart's content, not the street. No, I'm not a track guy myself. I've done a couple of track days, but I love going to the track and watching the guys race. I have friends who are semi-professional racers. Speed is not my issue, but the irresponsible use of speed on the public roads is selfish. It has an impact on your safety, has an impact on other motorists, and for the people who have to clean up the mess that you leave behind. Go to the track, practice hanging off the bike all you want, but you will never convince me that that's an appropriate riding technique for the street or any curvy mountain road. Ultimately, I think that what the point Fortnite was trying to make in this video was, if you're riding responsibly and within the laws, there's never a need to lean off the bike and to make a corner. Overall, I think this is a really good conversation to have, and thanks to Fortnite for starting it and Moto Jitsu for his response. I hope to just contribute a little bit to the conversation as well. So ride safe, guys. Ride smart, and I'll see you next Friday.